So I'm here with Clipper Daryl here at LA Live. Obviously, you should be elated uh, by the news that Commissioner Silver put down earlier today. Your thoughts on what his decision was and were you surprised at his decision? I mean, his decision was good for the game, good for the NBA. You know, now we can get back to basketball, good for the fans and good for the players. Now we can get back to playoff basketball, man, where we've all been excited for it. This has been the best playoff season that we've ever seen. You know, this is the best first round. Come on. So now we can get back to the game and then we can move on from this. Now, you've been a Clipper fan for about 14 years. I've been a season ticket holder for 14 years. I've been a fan for 22 years. 22, okay. So Donald Sully's been an owner of this team for almost 30 years. Yeah. Have you been around him at any point? And if so, did you see any of this th these things that have transpired and what he spoke about on the tape? You know what? To my knowledge, none. Because, I mean, he put me on a team flight. Okay, remember that? In 2006 playoff, game seven, you know, team flight, put me in, uh, ate dinner with the man, and and put me in a Rich Carlton. I would have never expected this. For him to hear, the, for me to hear them words from Donald Sterling, hurt my, really hurt my feelings. So do you, did you did you look at any of the, the discrimination suits, anything that, that was going on outside of the game that kind of raised your awareness a little bit? But see, my thing is this. What he does in his personal situation, that's his personal business. You know what I'm saying? People people sue people all the time. People settle out of court all the time because they don't want to deal with the headache. They just want to move on, you know? So, but this situation brought to our attention because of what he said about the game. Don't bring him to our games. It's totally different, so. Ownership, where does it go? What happens and what do you think is gonna happen? <laughs> hey, you know what, you, 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 let's go back. Let's go back to the, uh, to the Green Bay Packers. Let the people own them. Let the people own them. So you think it's your own, at least half of the, of the franchise? Exactly. But who own the other half? And who would you want to own the other half of the franchise? If it was up to you. If it was up to me, let me own it. <laughs> Magic Johnson was one of the people along with the Guggenheim group. Do you think, would you be happy with if they owned the team? I mean, Magic Johnson's a great dude, man. You know, you can't, you can't go wrong with him. 